take my in ears off. I'm what a my warm over reception. Here. Thank oh you. Oh my God, and a surprise. The best. Sterling, Sterling K. Brown with Doritos. Shout out to Sterling K. Brown, yeah. man. <laughs> I love this building. It's the most random, like literally that it's keeps happening. Best. People pop in and yeah, you're like, wait, like, what? It's like old school. Yeah. You used to like grow up watching TV and people would pop in on each other's shows. I love that. That's like music, like festivals back in the day too. Just yeah. be like, a, yeah, get up And on also stage. seeing the love between you two. You guys are really close. Oh, I love him. Oh, that's the best. I got him to lick a Dorito. You did, yeah. on TV. Um, so wait, do you like Christmas time here at 30 Rock? It's the best. Oh, good, great job when you lit that tree oh, by the way. Oh, thank you. You know, you know what really touched me was seeing how it touched you. And you were actually crying. You were like, this is so beautiful, it's so special. Like, I didn't expect it, and I was like, I am that tool that cries on television too much. But like, like I... No, it was a real moment, and I was like, you're the best, man. You're oh. just out there, and you're so, like, present always, but just a real one, man. Like, I give oh, it up to you a you. thousand percent. I'm so happy to be here. You're in the building. Thank you. That I was having so much fun, but I will say when they hit the button and we were like, okay, and then they were like, then you turn around and look at the tree, and I turn around and <laughs> Savannah and Hoda were like, girl, you crying? And I was like, <laughs> I literally went, oh. Yeah. I, it was just so beautiful. It I felt is. like I was in Whoville. I mean, like, imagine, yeah. Imagine the little kid seeing it for the first time. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. It's, it's a, a, a cool. I thing. was, a, I'm 41, but secretly still seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. You. I'm but 40 I think we from should them, and like I, yeah. I like it as well. Um, did you enjoy doing Good Burger too? Oh yeah. my gosh, shout out to Kinda Kel cool Mitchell. To like, yeah, he was here, yeah. So wait, doing yes. it like years later, that's so awesome. It's amazing. I yeah. mean, a 26 year gap is just like really hard to imagine. <laughs> yes. But you know, we both look very young still, so that's good. <laughs> and uh, people seem to enjoy the movie, so like we couldn't be prouder. Like it was a, a great response and you know, that's great so cool. support from Paramount Nickelodeon. And yeah. it, it just feels really good. We did the parade. I know, right I was gonna ask you about Good that. Burger Did you Mobile? like doing that? Because I've done the parade before, it's cold. It is cold. Yeah. But it was incredible, it was so much love. And you forget, New York is full of buildings that you know are very tall, and there's people in the windows like all the way up. So yeah. like riding for a, a mile through the middle of the city with people just waving and smiling, it was incredible. Like, yeah, that was us out there. And shout out to those mechanics, because they got that car to work the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like, it looks good, but like, will yeah, it yeah. run? It's an older car, so you know, <laughs> they did a good job. Where, what was like your favorite, um, I asked Keldas, what was your favorite burger place? Like, as a kid or even now, what's your favorite? Growing up, I feel like I was big on McDonald's. Oh my God, my son is addicted. Yeah, and then I went to LA and tried In-N-Out, and that was good. Yeah. But, I don't eat red meat anymore, so we tried Hart House recently, and that was that was really good. Kevin Hart's spot. I don't know. I didn't vegan. do eat red meat for like one year, and it was yeah. the saddest year of my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, it's a dearly departed friend, yeah. and you know, I, I look at my friends kind of like the little kid looking from the window that can't go outside. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's like when I see my nice friends having a milkshake, because I'm yeah. lactose intolerant, and I'm just like, just oh, tell me, can tough. I smell it? Can yeah, I? that's tough. Yeah, I'm just There's like. There's no alternative? I mean, there is. Is it as good? No. So why even go there? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I tried like lactose free eggnog this like holiday season. Like, why? Get out of here. Nobody <laughs> anyway. wants just nog. His new book of stories and advice is called When I Was Your Age. So, do you, are you the friend of the group that people like seek advice from? Sometimes, yes. yes. I've had the. Are you wise? I, yeah, a little bit. I okay. mean, I've, I've had the blessing of seeing a lot, you know, so far, because starting early, you know yeah. what I mean? So, some people come to me for things, and then, you know, I chime in on things that I see that I can't help. So, whether they want my advice or not, I end up giving it if it's a natural reaction or something. But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm usually just like, I've observed. So I can tell you what I've seen. I've observed. Yep. I used to sound like an owl. I yeah. like it. So wait, so why write a book now? I just felt like it was one of those things that everybody kind of does, you know? And I felt like, have I achieved enough to kind of like talk about anything interesting that would make a book? Yeah. And then I got to a point where I was like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of ready to start like putting stuff out there as far as like who me really kind of is. That's what I'm saying. Because... I think that's what's interesting. You kind of pull the curtain back behind. Because yeah. everybody always, I mean, I imagine, I was a cocktail wait waitress in a comedy club for a couple years and I, before all this, and everybody always expects the comedians to be so funny all the time yeah. in every conversation, every time you run around them. And I was like, that has to be exhausting. I mean, yes. And you don't kind of want to be like misleading. You don't want to do a lot of comedy and then be like very negative and boring <laughs> at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But, you know, 
a lot of my presence for people is very performative because it's always on a talk show or it's on an actual show or a movie or something like that. So this yeah. was my first time like offering up the rest of it because I didn't know if it was you know interesting enough or not because you know it's just. I think my that is what's story, interesting. You know what I mean? yeah. Because people don't know that. They've known you for so long, you know what I'm saying, on TV. Yeah. And like, just to be able to like, yeah, pull the veil back a bit, I think yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, I mean, I hope they enjoy it. I yeah. hope everybody enjoys it. Did you like being that kind of vulnerable? Do you enjoy that? Um, it's new and it's it's a lot to to kind of like balance and you know, tiptoe around like yeah. whatever, but that's why I can't it write a does book. Feel I don't tiptoe well. Yeah. 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 I don't I don't tiptoe well either. I, yeah. I stub my toe a lot. Yeah. And, <laughs> um but it it does feel good to share because the reaction has been so positive from people who have read it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't I don't feel like I've burned any bridges necessarily by you know sharing a lot of stories that have other people involved. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you want people to be able to tell their own story type thing. You don't want to speak for people, but you know, talking from my perspective, I was able to share a lot. You know, it, you know, it's my life, so it's what I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. You just gave me the title for my future memoir, which is Burning Bridges. <laughs> Burn Bridges. Just saying. That's right. It's a funny memoir. That's great. I don't tiptoe. Do you have shower advice in your book? This is interesting. Yep. <laughs> yep. What your shower, shower advice. advice. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, we talk about brushing, you know, brushing your teeth in the shower. Here's which, the thing. I um, don't regularly, let's recap. Yeah. Because we talked about this before. I don't regularly brush my teeth in the shower. I right. just, I do if I'm in a hurry. Uh-huh. Now, I do happen to be in a hurry a lot. often. So... <laughs> It happens often. So happens. Yeah. That's your. That's fine because that's where you are in the world. That's that. where I'm at. That's my I'm choice. I'm on the whole other side where I find it to be gross, and <laughs> I don't do it. And I think there's another mention of like maybe washing your legs in the shower. Like get all the way. You know, don't just leave your ankles out. Like. But wait, when you're washing up here, it does wash down. <laughs> that's how you see. Just different, different approaches to life. It's fine. I mean, I'm does. also, I guess I shave my legs almost every day in the shower, so I'm kind of doing you're, it you're anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you Do you, you pee in the shower? These are real hard questions. <laughs> no? I would lie if I said I had never done it. <laughs> but I try I pee not almost to. every time in the shower. Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad that you're open enough to say that. No, that's but, great. no, but here, it's. You can't help it. It's that it goes back to that childhood sleepover. You know, they put your hand in the hot water. Sometimes you pee because it's hot water. So the hot every water time. hits your body. Yeah. Not every time, but, but like lot. if I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and I'm not against it. Going and down I'm, the drain. I've not never done it. It's, it I've done it. You know but what? like when I do do it, I always feel so ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I it's feel? So I feel productive. Yeah. <laughs> Productive. I feel like I've Two knocked a lot out. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm doing everything at once. Multi you know what? Man. I'm always in a hurry. I feel you. I, I want to stay in bed as long as possible. I feel and you. then roll out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and just be ready. Yeah, and be ready. So are you like it's a 30-minute, 45-minute kind of um, ready? Ooh. No, I get ready in seven minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick one. Nice. Yeah, that's why people, I just was in Montana and this little girl, her mom was like, this is Kelly Clark. She's like, no, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And, and I was like, you're absolutely right. Kelly Clark is on TV. This is Kelly Brienne. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I look very <laughs> different. His new book of stories and advice is called When I Was Your Age, Life Lessons, Funny Stories, and Questionable Parenting Advice from a Professional Clown. A it's time. time. It is, but I like time. it. I like all of it. Yeah, um, it's time for that professional clown to share some advice with our audience. So this is a new segment called What Would Keenan Do? First up is Rob, who has a question about his kids. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, what's up, Keenan? What's up, sir? Been a fan since the original Good Burger Nickelodeon days. Thank you, yes. sir. I appreciate it. I'm a father of four going on five. Uh-huh. Congratulations. So, yeah. here's my question. When it comes to bath time, these kids that be running around, I'm smelling a little bit of onion, and I'm like, <laughs> Listen, you guys got to go take a bath. Yeah. And it's always a fight. No, you go take a bath. No, I don't want to take a bath now. Tears and fizz, mm -hmm. all of that. Do you have any advice? You got a lot of kids, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> toys usually would help me, you know what I mean? As a kid, I remember, like, you know, having a lot of toys would make bath time not such a chore 
they got a lot of like you know foam sprays that's actually soap, but it's actually like you you look like you feel like you're making a mess. But that's how I get my son to take a bath. Yeah, Boys. make it yeah. fun. You know, do something yeah. fun with them. Sing a song. Let them pretend them it's a jacuzzi. Favorite, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Also, show them the advantages of smelling good. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit of shame never hurt anyone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just That's kidding. Right. Okay, <laughs> kind of. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Rob. The next question is from Angela, who also has a parenting question. Go for it. I do. Hi, Keenan. Hi, Hi, Kelly. How are you? Um, I'm a mom of three boys uh, living here in Brooklyn in New York. Hey. Um, if you know New York, we live in small apartments. Mm -hmm. um, if you imagine that small apartment, you can cut it in half and put five of us in it. Mm -hmm. um, and the holidays are here and it's really exciting and we're trying to keep all of the magic alive. But the kids want to get up super early in the morning to come out and check for presents under the tree. Yeah. Um, how do I handle like the 4 a.m. wake up? They don't want to come out of the room. They don't want, you know, they're, they're like ready to go at 4 a.m. and I'm ready to sleep. I hear you. This is when deal making comes into the play. <laughs> yeah. You know, like use your Christmas Eve to give them a deal. Like, all right, you can open one present That's Christmas right. Eve. Yeah. yeah. And if you stay in, you know, we'll double it up in the morning. Or... <laughs> you know, offer them something like your favorite brekkie or something like that. Yeah. Because once they get to the age where they can make their own cereal and stuff, you know, they'll naturally leave you alone. Yeah. But when they're little like that, yeah, you gotta really start making those deals. Awesome. Good Thank luck with you. that. Yeah, I yeah. just tell my kids no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've tried that. that. Yeah. We've tried that, it yeah. doesn't work. And then, and then, yeah, if you open the present, then you don't get the present. Yeah. Well, they know they're not allowed to open. Yeah. They know they're but not allowed to open. three boys is hard. Three it boys is. is hard. 365 days out. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, so boy, three boys, morning. I have one boy, and, and that's a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of energy, it's different energy. Y'all are different energy. We are wild people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like really Tasmanian are. devils, yeah. Rambunctious. Maybe just, you know what, just wake up at four and then say, okay, we're gonna take a nap after. That's a possibility, you know what I'm I like that. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, because yeah. it might not leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. I doubt Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith in this plan. I'm just saying. <laughs> I hope deal making will help, but you know, kids are kids are wild, man. Kids you know are what I mean? boys. And Christmas is a, is a special morning. It's yeah, such an exciting it morning. It's hard yeah. to just, you know, wait on a specific hour. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. like I don't know, pad your house. Okay. You know, <laughs> Give them, them helmets around. and yeah, pad yeah. your house. You know, just let them go. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, Angela. You. Uh, let's do another commercial break, everybody. Keenan's book is called When I Was Your Age: Life Lessons, Funny Stories, and Questionable Parenting Advice from a Professional Clown. And everyone in the audience will benefit from his advice in it because you're all getting a copy. You're welcome. <laughs> 